Hello everyone. Welcome back to Act of Learning. Our discussion in this video will be about this integral and a couple of generalizations from its family. To begin with, this integral does not seem to be too hard. We can expand the 1 minus x power n minus k term using the binomial theorem, multiply everything by x power k and integrate the result term by term. Sure, this will solve the problem, but unfortunately, it does not give a very good intuition on why the result is true. The idea that we will use to solve this integral was first presented by Thomas Bayes, the same Bayes who gave us the famous Bayes theorem. His ingenious idea is beautiful for two reasons. First off, he uses the methods of probability to solve this problem, even though there is no mention of anything being random. Secondly, looking at the integral, we might expect the result to be a function of both k and n. Surprisingly, it's not the case. Bayes solved this integral by considering n plus 1 points, of which n are white and 1 is green. Let's say we take this bunch and throw them on a line of unit length. Now, what is the probability that the green point ends up in the k plus 1th position? Or in other words, what is the probability that the green point has exactly k points to its left? We solve this problem in two different ways. First, it should be obvious that all the points are equally likely to be in any position in the number line. After all, our throw was completely random without any special treatment to any of the position on the line. Let's say the green point settled at some position x. Then any point whose position is less than x will be to its left and those with position greater than x will be on its right. As the position of the points is uniformly distributed between the interval 0 and 1, the probability of a point being to the left of the green point is x. Similarly, the probability of a point's position being greater than x, thereby ending to the right of the green point is 1 minus x. From this, the probability of k points ending to the left of the green point is x power k and the probability of the remaining n minus k points to the right is 1 minus x power n minus k. Then the probability that any k of the n white points lies to the left of the green point is nck times x power k times 1 minus x power n minus k. Because the position of the green point is itself is uniformly distributed in the interval, the total probability is given by the integral of this expression from 0 to 1. Alternately, this probability can also be obtained by simple counting. If we look at the final ordering of the points, then the green point could have been the first or the second or the third and so on with all of its position in the order equally likely. There are n plus 1 possible orderings and the green point has k points to its left on exactly one of them. Therefore, the required probability is simply 1 by n plus 1. Because we have calculated the same probability in two different ways, they should be equal. Therefore, we see that we have solved this integral without using any calculus at all. And more surprisingly, the answer does not depend on k, which is not at all obvious while evaluating directly. Simply amazing stuff from Bayes. We can now extend this problem in two different ways. For example, we can show that this integral is true by considering the case of n white points with two green points. Now the probability that there are a1 white points before the first green point a2 points between the two green points and a3 white points after the second green point is given by the integral of the multinomial n a1 a2 a3 x1 power a1 into x2 minus x1 power a2 into 1 minus x2 power a3 dx1 dx2 where x1 and x2 are the positions of the green points. But with the combinatorial argument the same is also given by 1 by n plus 1 times n plus 2. Continuing this line of reasoning, we can solve this list of n variable multi integrals in closed form without using any calculus at all. The second extension, which is again very natural, is to consider the n white and 1 green case in two dimensions. Imagine a square board of size 1. Consider throwing n ordinary dots and one special dot on the square. Let's paint the special dot green. Now what is the probability of exactly k dots landing in the rectangular region formed by the lower left corner of the square and the special dot? 
writing an integral for this probability is easy let's say the special dot landed on point x comma y because the probability of a dot landing on a given region is equal to the area of that region the probability of any k dots landing on this rectangular region is given by the expression nck into xy power k into 1 minus xy power n minus k taking into account the fact that the special dot itself could have landed anywhere on this board the total probability is then the double integral of this expression is the limit x from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to 1 The 2D counting case is not as straightforward, but is also not very difficult. The ordering of the dots in this case can be visualized by considering a matrix of points, with each row and each column containing exactly one point, and each ordering just as likely as any other. It's interesting to see that though the arrangement on the right is nothing like the one on the left, it nicely captures the order of the dots. Because every row contains exactly one point. the green point when located at the jth row can accommodate at most j minus 1 points in the rectangular region this observation makes the calculation very easy because the grid has n plus 1 rows the probability of the green point landing on any given row is 1 by n plus 1 now to accommodate k white points the green point should land on any row greater than k if it lies on any row j plus 1 there can be anything between 0 to j points in the green rectangular region with each count equally likely therefore the probability of having k points is just 1 by j plus 1 for the j plus 1th row the total probability is then given by the sum 1 by n plus 1 times sigma j equals k to n 1 by j plus 1 this finally shows that the value of this integral is equal to the sum on the right extending all of this to higher dimensional cubes with more special dots is pretty straight forward from here if you can solve them with bayes method share it with us in the comment section below hope you enjoy the discussion see you in the next video